take this back to a sawtooth. There's just two oscillators, both on a sawtooth. Let's just see how we go with this. Uh, bit of hi-hat. My name is Andy Pidcock, and uh, I'm going to give you just an extended jam, really, on the Korg MS20, full size. Uh, but I'm going to put it in context of making some music, although it might be quite novel. Um, so I'm going to use my Nord keys as well, just to give us a pad sound. Uh, and I'm also going to use the Deluge as well, uh, and I'm using that for arpeggiation. So I'm playing arpeggiation through the Deluge from my Nord which is triggering the Korg, okay, just so we can just get some really nice sort of arpeggiation stuff going on here, because I just think it sounds fab when you do that. Uh, so if you want to hear all the dry sounds that you can ever imagine, I'd suggest you probably go and look at another video, because I'm going to be adding, uh, a little, adding some reverb to it from the Strymon Blue Sky pedal that I've got here, uh, just to add a bit of ambience to it. I will give you some dry sounds as well, just so we can listen to the oscillators, but the rest of it... <laughs> I'm just going to be jamming. And as I'm jamming, I'll just talk you through bits and pieces that I'm doing. Let's just listen to uh, one oscillator. It's quite a sweet uh, little triangle thing going on here. Got a little bit of noise going on here, which I can mix in. Got that patched in, bit of white noise going on, and I got that patched in on the, uh, on the external input, which is then feeding back into the synth. Let's just add in a little bit of oscillator too. Got a sort of. Okay, just gonna turn the pedal off. Just dry sound. It's just going to add a little bit of the pad sound. Okay, let's change that to a sorted. Okay, let's mix in oscillator 2 as well. Let's see how we're going with that. Just using the arpeggiator stuff from Deluge, okay? Add in the pedal. That 
er denne kalk. Jam, we're just going to try and find some sweet spots on this. And I'm still really quite new to this as well, so I'm getting used to all of this. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in the what is the high pass filter, but the resonance on it, which you can tune, and it does some fairly that's what it's known for, it does some fairly crazy stuff. So let's just see how this is going like this. sounds like. are off now. Let's take the pad off. Everything else. That's just that's just the filter doing its thing. So it doesn't matter what I play. That's just the filter just oscillating on itself. Just Okay, so if we've got that and you can also tune this filter so you almost get like a, a sub bass as well going on so you get like a, an octave or two below your oscillators so let me just add in oscillator one here of these filters and adding just some of these extra because you'll get a lot of add in a bit of the pad kick
Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold in the, the low pass filter, which almost becomes like a band pass then. So these two filters are closing in on each other. So, so I've got this pitch going on here, but I'm going to just turn this. We take the kick off, take the pad out. I'm going to take the oscillators off. So at the moment, these are just the filters. <laughs> so between these two filters, I can go in and out of limit. pedal off okay so, so you can hear this is a just a dry synth filter there doing its thing. So when I add in an oscillator, it's like a sub bass coming in.
slightly smoother sort of sound. So I'm just going to patch in the wheel here. I'm just going to patch this in on the filter, on the low pass filter, so, so, we, so we can get a bit of expression on that.